And what he is telling you, child, is that you are successful in him because you're staying connected and you love him and you pray every step of the way and you are obeying and your definition of success is so different from his. His is that you are following him every step of the way that you're being obedient. You need to write down your hopes, your dreams, what you're hearing God talk to you about. Remember how we did that journal prompt about remembering all the times that he came through? Go back and read those. Read where he came through. That is the success that you have in your life. As I was writing, I read some of what I have written over the last few years to get to this place, to this place to be able to serve others and be disconnected from my definition of success in my career and in my visibility and in how many books I sell. Looking back and reading that that child's heart who was just crying out for her father to give her more of a purpose and and hearing so loudly from him that this was the place I was supposed to be. You know how much we gave away to do this and how much we let go of? And I'm not just saying monetarily, it's not just about stuff. It is emotionally and mentally and spiritually how much we had to let go of and get rid of to get to this place. And that has been such a blessing. Yet while I am here, I'm like, well, I haven't gotten them a car yet. I haven't finished this. I haven't done that. It doesn't have to be defined by what the world's success is. Your success is in your relationship with the Lord. And the fact that you're watching three minutes into this, that means your relationship is there and it's strong and that you desire for it to be more. This, this right here, this is your success. You are following God's plan, doing what he has put before you and praying to him and being with him every step of the way. That is your success. Redefine what your success is because I promise you, he's so proud of you.